don't know if the heat was up too high in the Capitol yesterday or <laughs> oh. something was going off in the cafeteria yesterday, but there were a lot of fighting words going around during the House and Senate committees, and Congressman Tim Burchett even accused Kevin McCarthy of physically attacking him. And looking at the, sen the Senate, let's see what happened to the different senators. Let's see the way they became aggressive to each other. I uh, got elbowed in the back and it kind of caught me off guard because it was a clean shot to the kidneys and I turned back and there was there was Kevin. He's a bully with $17 million in a security detail. No, I did not elbow him. No, I would not elbow him. I would not hit him in a kidney. I guess our shoulders did because Bertie runs up to me after. I didn't know what he was talking about. You look like a smurf here just going around and all this stuff. Now listen. M Mr. Chairman, you no, have... No, I want to tell you no, no, hold on. If we're, you if continue we're not on time, to spew we just, disinformation. You, you, Sir, this is a time, this is a place... If you want to run your mouth, we can be two consenting adults. We can finish it here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold, stop it. Is that your solution? Every poll. No, no, sit down. Sit down. Okay. You know, you're a United States son. According to um, Joy Beha, to be Joy Beha, they're like the coronavirus that just happened. Seeing them fighting each other. To the other ones, some of the interpreted that. They don't know why Congress is not being treated like any other job. Eh? Congress is being treated differently. Because, you know, in any other job, if you do that, you're going to be sanctioned. But with, Cong with Congress, they can do anything out of it. The way you see um, um, Molly is want to fight with the other um, um, person. The way you see also um, Kevin... And um, refused that he did not hit the elbow of the um, other senator. But all those arguments, the conflict between one another, and to some also, they don't know why Congress allow all these things to happen. So to Whoopi, to Whoopi, she doesn't understand why all this will, take in, will be taking place in Congress. And Congress is not doing nothing to solve the situation. Let's see what is happening. Let's pull and see what <laughs> <laughs> right? What you know, this is, is why on? Congress, the Republican Congress, has a lower approval rating than the coronavirus. Yeah. <laughs> this That's is a good why. one. That was a good one. I like that. I mean, the oh, what? The Oklahoma Senator Mark Wayne Mullen picking a fight with the head of the Teamsters doing a committee meeting about how unions can help working families. So what is going on? Why what is happening? Why does it all turn into the Catch Me Outside girl? Like they're literally yeah. like ready to beat the crap out of yeah. every single one of them. Yeah. What I don't understand is why <laughs> Congress is never treated like a regular job. So if you want to start calling your coworker names, you're probably going to HR. If you touch them in the kidney or, or any other place, you're probably going to get fired. When your company shuts down, you're not paid. And, and sued also. Yeah. And if you have conflict of interest or trade mm -hmm, secrets, mm -hmm. fired. You're going to see a theme here. Maybe, fired, maybe fired, fired. Too. And that never happens in Congress. There's no yeah. consequences. They get a slap on the wrist, yeah. and then they they go try to legislate the country. They try to explain that in a regular job, if you come and, like, hit and touch on anyone, the way they hit the kidney of the senator, you're going to be fired. In any regular job, if um you get in conflict the way um, Molly was getting into conflict, you're going to be fired. Not only fired, you're going to be so. But only in Congress that something can happen like that. And They have a big I mean, role, and yet they never get in trouble. Even during the shutdown, I believe they still get paid. Am they I right do. About? I mean, yeah, they, they do. do. Yeah. You know, it just, it's beneath the dignity of the, 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 the office. Not I mean, anymore, that's, that's, it's not. But it's not anymore. And I don't want to always blame everything on Trump, but I think he peeled that Band-Aid off. I think he's the one that was, during his rallies, telling people, you know, know, punch him in the face. I'll pay your legal fees. Throw this at this yeah. person. Lock him up. He's the one that sort of degraded our humanity in, in many respects. And so now what you're seeing is, I think, what was probably always there underneath. And what is shocking to me is, those are the people that want to call other people thugs. Well, that's some thuggery that we just saw. Okay, but they, they that's did, some thuggery. We right saw there. on just before you go that we saw on January six. Yeah, how they basically poo pooed any any idea that it might have been violent or exactly. thuggery. Exactly, it was just political discourse. Yeah, it was. So just, well, is, it was a tour. Yeah, or a tour. So this is what you have. I mean, my first here. thought was, how many times have we heard women are too emotional to lead? Like, did anyone ask these? <laughs>
All they do now is to blame it to President Donald Trump that they claim that President Donald Trump in his time was the one encouraging people during his campaign that our box in the face and nothing would do. Box and punch in the face. So they try to explain that all this characteristics that is happening with those senators, it has always been in Congress, but it has been beneath, they have been hiding it. But because they have been hiding it and they have somebody like President Donald Trump that comes and say, um, is box them on the face according to their own point of view. So according to them, they are blaming President Donald Trump for all the irrational behaviors of those um of those um senators because if they Donald Trump did not come out with punching on the face, do this, those senators will not be bold to do the way they are doing and worst of all nothing is being done, they don't have received any sanction. Even if they being shut down, they will still receive payment. So um what do you really think? Do you really blame President Donald Trump for what is happening to Congress now? To those, do you blame President Donald Trump for what mature people like that will be doing? How mature people will react when they are angry? How mature people will, will respond to their emotion? How mature people will correspond with some way if another person's we don't go their way? How mature people will? We stand and want to, um, in public, they will not even be afraid and they want to go physical. How mature people will want to, um, not afraid of the consequences of like, um, fighting that what will be the consequences that will happen. So, are we really going to blame President Donald Trump for all their irrational behavior, for their fighting, their bullying? What do you really think? Can I see your own opinion on the comment section? Let's keep watching to see more of it. Um, okay, the way I had and explained that, where the men really seen their period, because the way they are fighting, they are arguing, it will mostly be women. That Where are the women that are senators? Are they not also fighting? Are they not also having disagreement? Why do we see just the men fighting and bullying each other? The way I had and tried to explain that um sometimes we are concerned about what children see and how children will react. So by this particular men, it seems they don't really care about what they are portraying out in society. What if the kid come and see this? How will their children behave? How will this affect their children emotionally? How will it affect the mindset of the kid? Do they really think about all those um before they behave in certain ways that they are behaving. Um, whoopee, um, thank you very much for watching. And if you have not subscribed, please do not forget to subscribe and help share the video. If you help share the video, if you really like what we are doing and want to support in your own way, do not, um, you can join the, the membership underneath this video. Thank you very much. God bless you.